Okay, welcome back to another episode where we talk more about this guy. What was that? I am a gundam. All right, so you're probably sick and tired of the Sky Defender by now, okay? It's been, it's been uh, an absolute obsession uh, because it's such a good kit. I've not I've not gushed over a kit so much in in a long, long time. Um, so here we are, and I've installed the Cosmos LED set. Got the remote right here. I'm going to talk about the process a little bit. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to take some photographs and probably do like a little slideshow of the wiring, what it looks like and stuff like that, so you know what you're getting into. <clears throat> Where I've put the, the loom, and I'm sort of going to go over the process of, of what I did uh, installing, because I did this on stream, and it was, it was an absolute nightmare in part, to, like figuring out what where to watch the videos and so on. But once I got into the flow, it weren't too bad. Um, very, very minimal um, deconstructions required to put the, the LED strips in. Um, I think the, the most I had to do was the wings. Uh, the head was very, very simple. It just, you know, you take the crest off, you take the side off, you put it in, you put it back together again, you, you feed it through the chest, and it's it's that simple. Um, the body, very, very simple. You took the back and the front off, put the, 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 the LED in here, uh, just underneath the hinge, uh, stuck it down with some double-sided tape, put it all back together again, and the inside lights up. You know, very, very simple... Um, loom and wiring system uh, it's just it's more complex around the back i've done my best to hide the wires but unfortunately um you can see some uh, evidence but you know with some modifications to the pieces like channeling out channeling out the insides um of the wings uh, to allow for some of the material to be uh taken up by the actual connection ports uh, would be a benefit um but then, you know, when you're taking the, 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 you know, the weapons off to put them on the display stands, which are included, you'd need to take the 45mm cable off and install the 450mm cable, which are supplied uh, to enable you to plug into the loom, which is underneath the base because it's a separate loom from the, uh, the control panel. Um, you plug in those wires and then you, you route the, the wires up until... Um, the actual weapons are on the clear display bases. So it is a bit of a minefield uh, trying to find the videos, but if you scan the QR code in the manual, you do find out um, there is a, a, a list of videos uh, that you can watch on what I'm assuming is the Chinese version of YouTube. And they go through how they do it, but it's a visual aid because I don't understand Chinese. So I was just watching what he did um, and then sort of like went, right, okay, I understand what's got to be done and, and then go from now. So it wasn't too bad. Um, I did it on stream, um, finished it yesterday with this wing, getting this wing complete. So I thought I'd talk about it today and show some of the guys that were watching the stream. It's really, really hard to illustrate what I was doing because my point of view and the streaming point of view are different because it's a top-down camera. So it's very, very hard to visually show you what I'm looking at. So this is what... Um, what I was looking at yesterday when I was installing it. So hopefully, when I turn this light on, you'll get a, a better idea. And it's it's a pretty gloomy day, so I've not got any lights on, so hopefully you can pick it up. So by just turning the power light on, it goes through like a head, head um, animation, and then the heat vents sort of flicker and then go green. I've just got it set to static green, but I think you can do like, you press the mode, and it will go through like different animations. You know what? I didn't know it did that because I've selected solid, solid green and it's just going through a solid green animation. Whereas when I first started it, it was an absolute rainbow puke, you know, RGB hell. So that's cool. I wonder if I can then go all white. Uh, no, it's sort of, sort of green and then white tips. Right, okay then. 
what about blue? Where's blue? Yeah. Right, okay, so the wing winglets still stay green, but it's the energy in the tops and the ends that are blue. Um, the chest is white, and the head camera um, and eyes uh, are green. Um, and there is different modes where you just... You just keep pressing the modes. Now, it does have all these other buttons for all different types of um, pro presets that you can preset on the app. Uh, and the app was pretty easy to install as well. Wasn't too bad. And there's a Showtime button as well, which I think then does go all like RGB mode and it goes all over the place. It's really hard to pick it up on camera. And let's go back to all green. There we go. And it will just it will just do an animation with just green lights, which is kind of what I want. I don't want it being all different colours. But if you just keep pressing um the different mode buttons with the colour that you've you've chosen, uh, that's kind of how happy I'm gonna be. Just keep pressing different modes with it all being green. Um so yeah, it's it's not too bad. It's a shame that there's no um lights in the boosters, but there are there are lights in the rail guns in the back. And just a quick 360. This is kind of what it looks like from the back with the cables um, exposed. So like I said, I'm gonna take some shots so you can take a look at them a little bit closely. Um, you can reroute these, I'm pretty sure. Um, the rail guns are stored uh, on these clamps and they are on a short cable from the actual gun to the loom and they plug in to that port there. And to display these um, in the hands, you can swap out this short cable for a longer cable. Uh, oh no, you don't swap out the cable, sorry. You put an extension block on. Um, it's like a connector with two ends on, or two female ends, and you plug this lead in and the extender lead, and then it can hold the weapon in the hands just fine. Now I've got it set to a battery pack at the moment because I've got no way of um, plugging in a USB-C lead uh, from the power outlet. I don't have a lead long enough, so I've had to nick my batteries from my um, MGX Unicorn so I can do this for you. Uh, and the battery pack is included. Um, but certainly, if you want this on display, get yourself a nice five meter USB-C uh, lead with a, you know, just like a, a phone charger adapter or something like that. Um, I don't know whether it's five volts um, or nine volts or whatever, but I'm pretty sure it's about five volts. So you can get an adapter with a USB-C lead on it and, and plug it in and that way you've got it, you can have it permanently lit up on display. You can have it pulsing, flickering. You can have it solid, you can have it slowly breathing, um, shimmering, uh, strobing. And flowing oh, I don't mind that one that's actually pretty cool uh, right okay so you know that's that's about it really um, you know going over some some of the points um, I had to use uh, the double-sided sticky tape which is included they do include um, pads like double-sided sticky pads like a foam pad uh, which is how I attach the, uh, the the hub on the back of the display base arm um, and on inside these wings, there is like a mini hub as well, uh, which is a power distributor from the hub to the three winglets or the, the, the three weapons on each on each arm. The LEDs uh, in the guns uh, on the, the bits or the whatever, the dragoons, you know, floating guns, whatever they call them, that was quite easy. I just put a, a plastic strip, uh, a, sorry, an adhesive strip inside this purple piece laid down the LEDs and pushed it back in and then routed the cable out the back. And the LED in the top here is part of the loom. Um, it's like on a wire with a little LED strip, which is uh, like on a, on a cable, uh, like a flat cable, so you can bend it and mold it and it goes into these heat. Uh, I think these are, were called heat vents or heat sinks or something. Very, very easy and uh, very, very minimal cable pinches because there's a lot of room inside these wings to root cables and find the best way out and so on. Very, very easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. And I highly recommend getting this kit. 
The next time we'll be looking at this is once I get the uh, high new resin kit from um, UGEL. Is it UGEL Land? I'm, I'm really, really terrible at pronouncing. Uh, please, please let me know the pronunciation down below. I'm terrible. I called it UGEL Land before, which is quite funny. Um, but they are in collaboration with INT Industries to create this uh, with uh, what, what looks like their design team probably did a lot of the uh, CAD work, I'm assuming because uh, their molds and their resin kits are top notch. So they are running out a high new conversion for this, which includes the head, a shield, a beam rifle uh, or beam magnum and uh, some feet. I'm hoping that they do roll out some fuel tanks for the backpack and change this UAV, they call it, um, on the back here for a more stylized uh, look of the high new backpack. And then it, it will then resemble the high new a little bit better than it does because this is hyper stylized. Very, very nice though. Uh, I've got nothing else really to say about the kit. Uh, the, the photo etch, I don't know whether I'm going to be putting on and as well as the uh, water slides. I might well do. Uh, but if I'm going to be doing the, the resin uh, conversion, then it might force me to paint it. So I'm, I'm holding off on those details. Um, and it really is quite easy to take apart and they have considered pe um, you know modifiers and painters because stripping this down um, with a part separator and some um, spaded tweezers uh, which are like the thicker the thicker type of, sp of, of tweezers but it was very very easy to take apart and the tolerances are like great there's not that much in terms of like really really tight tolerances apart from the wing connectors um just be careful about them because you can possibly break the the wing connectors that go into the backpack because it's incredibly tight but once you've got them in they are solid well that's about it guys um i've kept you long enough i really appreciate all of the new um support and, and subscribers to the channel I really am pushed to, for any sort of content for the next couple of weeks because it's coming up to Christmas. I'm going through a mortgage period, so I haven't been able to like frivolously buy kits and, and this, that, and the other. So, so bear with me. I really appreciate all the support and, and subscribers. You are, you, you know, you mean the world to me and I appreciate you all. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing if you got this far. Uh, it's just ticking the button and it helps the channel out. And, you know, anything Gundam or, or third party gaming or, or whatever, um, you know, I'll, I'll be pumping it into the channel uh, in the future. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, I've got the FM Aerial and the Cosmos kit for that. So I could possibly do a video on that. I might even install that on stream. Um, if I've done this, uh, I'm going to try and do the Aerial. The only trouble is... The aerial uh, bits have got these long cables and I don't have the action display stand, like the clear action display stand six, I believe it is, from which from Mercury, I think you need a couple of sets uh, to display all the bits around. Um, I don't have one of them, so I might install the LED set, but I won't be able to do any sort of like showcase or display like this because I won't have the, the, the bits to do that. So... Um, I might try and see if I can get uh, a set of those for Christmas from the family. That'd be nice. Anyway, uh, I've kept you long enough. Again, I've slapped my gums. I really, really appreciate it. It's a miserable day out there. I hope you're having a great day. At time of recording, I've just found out that Trump has won the election. So whether that's good or bad for you, um, condolences or congratulations, uh, no matter where you are, try, just be safe. Don't do anything silly and... I'm not political in here, but, you know, I'm just trying to make sense of it all and just try and, uh, yeah, just get through it. Anyway, um, support, love, and, you know, care for each other. I've been going to fan, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, guys. And check out the photographs because it's going to be a little bit of a, a closer inspection of, of the loom and it give you a, a little bit of a better idea. Um I was going to do a tutorial on on it, and but it was it would have been way way too stressful for me um, because I was learning, so I can't do a tutorial whilst learning. It just doesn't make any sense, does it? So uh, unfortunately, that couldn't have been uh, an option uh, unless I take it all apart and then put it all back together again in t in, in tutorial uh, format. But again, it's all sticky. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I'm getting on my own nerves. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one.
because I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card 